one and two and three and four and. And while you're doing that, you're going to play a chord. The chord will basically center around C and around F and a little bit around G. Now to play that chord and emphasize one and two and three and four and we'll play it as an arpeggio like this. One and two and three and four and. We're going to play the melody against that but in order to do that we have to know a couple of other little things. One is that the melody divides into several patterns and often the patterns start on not one, not and two, and not and three, but on the and after three. So it's sort of like this, one and two and three and so Do that again, one and two. In order to make that a little bit easier, I'm going to suggest that we start the song with a very simple pattern that leads into that. The pattern that allows us to go, you are my, before we start singing, sunshine, okay, because you are my is on the and for and. So it work, I'm going to go like this, one and two and three and going to add the right hand below middle C here. One and two and three and four and. Now we have to, without actually slowing down, we have to move into this pattern. And switch my thumb over here and then I'll move my thumb away and replace it with my middle finger so that I can play the rest of this melody. That's just a little trick. You can do it that way too. Among the interesting sounds of uh, Cairo, you can hear them in the distance. Let's try just that introduction. this to it. We'll start with the thumb here, but we'll replace it with the middle finger. Now that counts out as one and two and three and four and one and two and three. I stop at three because the next pattern starts at the and of the three. I'll start at the beginning and just do that pa that pattern, the first two patterns. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Let's do it again. to do the second pattern. In a way it's very similar to the other. Again, in order to do the and for and, I'm going to use both hands playing the same notes. C, E. That's three and four and one and two and three and four and. We've already played the three in the first pattern. so. We're just going to start with and, four, and. Let's go from the beginning and add just that part. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. After the uh, 
clock has chimed in the background here. It's almost in the key of C. We're going to go into the next pattern, which is quite similar to the second pattern that we've already done, and it's like this. One and two and three and four and one. Now the next part is to return back to that third little pattern that goes and four and then just plays these three notes. Do it again. One and two and three. And when skies are gray and two and three, you And then we're ready for uh, another pattern that's almost like the, uh, I think it's the fourth pattern that we did. It's almost a repeat of it. It's just a little different. So it's going to count a little different. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. And. So we counted three and. And. That's because the ending of the song goes four and one and two and and then three and four and and then we can end the song. One, two, and three. Songs end with one extra beat so that you can start over again for the second verse. So here's the ending. see if we can put that all together starting out just with a one three times here until we get to the third beat and then with the and we'll enter the song try it without counting out loud. Just think in your mind. Now there are different ways of doing it. I use this and this and this for the three chords. You could use inversions and then you'd stay here and here and here. Let me play it through once that way and then we'll let you rest and decide how you want to practice it.
lots of ways to play. You are my sunshine.